we are scared to, uh, to patronize this area and it goes away. On the first Friday night since Dayton's mass shooting, Neil Griffin thinks it's necessary for people to go out where it happened. This is a great place to live and to work and, uh, and we trust each other and uh, we trust our law enforcement and uh, we're doing the best we can. He's echoing the same message police want the community to understand. It's okay to grab a drink, dinner, or pay your respects in the Oregon district. And so as people are coming down here and spending time down here, it, it provides a lot more uh, visual surveillance. People see things, they call us, and we're able to address them quickly. Officers plan on increasing their patrols all weekend long. This was a, a highly unusual event, as you all know and it is in no way indicative of the type of, of crime that we see downtown on, on a regular basis. People like Jalen Niffer have loved ones who don't want to come back for a long time. She's been trying to convince them otherwise. Take time that you need to grieve and let this this feeling pass through, but don't let it paralyze you. Then that's when you're going to let your life pass. Police are planning for more busy days and nights downtown just in case. And residents are feeling thankful for their constant support. Anywhere you go, you're going to have violence. It's just uh, what we have to live with nowadays. All we can do is look out for each other and uh, make sure that uh, we take care of each other. Now, I'm told crowds here range from several hundred to several thousand every weekend. And police adding today that, you know, this week has been especially hard for, for them as well. But they are thankful tonight for the support they're getting from police departments around the nation and even around the world. Reporting live tonight, Helena Batapaglia, WLWT News 5.